Hi folks, I'm back with more information to empower you today. Um, but before I do so, I'd like to take an opportunity to say thank you. Uh, many of you have been liking my videos uh, and sharing my page with your family and friends. And so for that, I just wanted to say a very big and warm thank you. Um, okay. So here we go. Um, as you know from reading about this in the press and from following me on Facebook, the travel ban took effect on uh, Thursday, June 29th at 8 o'clock p.m. to be precise. And the travel ban applies to people uh, who do not have a bona fide relationship with a close family uh, in the U.S. Um, or an entity in the U.S. And so these are foreign nationals from six countries, Iran, Somalia, Libya, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. Now, the government has provided us with some guidance about what close family means. So here's the definition of a close family. Uh, a parent, uh, a child, a uh, spouse, adult son or daughter, uh, son or daughter-in-law, a sibling, whether it's a half sibling or whole sibling, um, fiance, and uh, step relationships are also included in the definition of a close family. And by the way, parent-in-law is included as well. Now, this definition excludes people uh, who are more, you know, arguably distant. So, for example, it excludes grandparents, grandchildren, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, brothers, and sisters-in-law, um, and any other extended family members. Now, if you are, for example, a grandparent, uh, and you're seeking a visa uh, to come to the U.S., and you're from one of these six countries, you are excluded. The travel ban applies to you, unfortunately. Um, now, if you are uh, a student who have, uh, has been accepted to a university in the U.S., or if you have an employment offer uh, to come and work for a company in the U.S., you must prove uh, by showing a formal document uh, that describes the nature of the relationship that you have with an entity in the U.S. So for example, if you've been admitted to school here in the U.S., you have to show at the airport or during your interview at a U.S. consulate, you have to show uh, your acceptance letter. And so uh, th that's the guidance that we've received thus far as it relates to the definition of close family and um, uh, the type of evidence that's necessary to prove that you have a relationship with an entity in the U.S. Now, more guidance has been given, and I'm going to put out another video um, that talks a little bit more about uh, the travel ban. So stay tuned for that, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.